John the Mouse. People needed more than food and shelter on the frontier fort. In 1875, soldiers of the 1st Infantry built a chapel that included a library and an independent order of Odd Fellows, I O O F, meeting hall. Since the chapel was not a military building, it was built with the funds and labor donated by the off duty soldiers, local citizens, and the Echo Lodge No. 2 of the IOOF of the Dakota Territory. The beautiful stone church had a bell tower, stained glass windows, black walnut pews, and an organ. The Post Library was located in the West Wing and held over 1,500 volumes. The chapel became the center for social and intellectual life of the fort and a welcome diversion from the gambling and drinking. This building was designed by George Bush, the post carpenter, and a discharged soldier. They built the structure from hand, sewn chalkstone from the nearby quarries, aided in the quarrying and transportation only by the U.S. government. Otherwise, it was entirely a private venture. The fort was finally abandoned in 1892. This building was devastated by wind, two windstorms and a bolt of lightning wrecked the roof and the rain and frost finished the work. The Corps of Engineers and the National Park Service made detailed drawings in 1947 and filed it in the Library of Congress. The ruins were stabilized by the engineers in 1953. Thank you for watching my video. I do have more for you to view. Just press on the button. And if you'd like to subscribe to stay up to date, you can push that button too.